Hello everyone, my name's Bottle Top Hornet, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. <laughs> we are standing up at our little, well, little doesn't really describe it properly, our large wheat farm that we made in the last episode, next to our windmill building that will eventually be used to, uh, well, law purpose wise, crush up this wheat and turn it into flour, but I haven't done anything with that yet. Because as this sun sets, I wanted to come over to this side here and uh, work on a, I should bring that back up, work on a sugarcane farm. So I think I'm going to place a sugarcane farm right in about this area above these little waterfalls and whatnot, try and implement those into the base of the building and uh, get myself some automatic sugarcane going. So I'm going to quickly sleep and then we might set up a chest over here because my inventory is so full. <laughs> we'll try and uh, get a few resources ready to go and start clearing this area out. Okay, what I think I'm going to do... Oh, I don't have the room for it. What I think I will do is bring some of these things that I was working on over to the new area. So I'm going to bring the table and the saw there, the stone cutter over in this direction. That way I can cut up some of these different varieties. We're going to go in a similar palette to that with uh, spruce and dark oak and the deep slate. So if I just come over here and we pop this down, I'm going to put all oops, <laughs> wood varieties like this away in there. Uh, we're going to, we already have a table on us. So we're going to put that there and we may as well clear this out just so that we can go grab a few more things. Actually, we've already got a bed here too. <laughs> so really should only need that stone cutter and maybe see whether we have any deep slate left in those chests. I don't know if we do. So I'm actually going to put that bed back down there. And it does not appear so. Okay, so we're going to duck down into our mine, see how much we have left from my initial mining expedition where I cleared out that area right down at the base of the world. And then once we have that stone back up, we can get to work clearing out that area there and planning out our build. I don't exactly know the scale yet, so we'll have to work that out as we go, I think. Now, wish me luck. I don't want to lose 42 levels, but it's way too long down there to, uh, to uh, wait for us to slowly descend like this. So I usually try and fall down there. Uh, okay, so we've used nearly a full double chest worth because that was half full as well, I believe. So we're going to grab eight, not ten. Ten stacks of that. We might actually take that redstone with us as well because we are going to have to do a little bit of redstone work. And now I, I just have to go, oh, you know, 140 odd blocks up. <sighs> God, that takes a long time. We probably will eventually make a uh, water elevator up there, but not today. So, oh, I may as well grab that while I'm here, because we will need that to make some hoppers and whatnot. Uh, now, that should be more than enough. And I think I'm just going to grab a handful of blocks of those as well, because we are going to make a bunch of observers. So, when we went into the nether a few episodes ago, I did grab a fair few pieces of the nether quartz, which I silk touched and just brought back up into the uh, into the little house that we have going up there. And I fortuned it up, got myself a decent supply, and we'll see whether we can get a good stack going of the, uh, the observers. They're going to be our most expensive thing. And then we're also, oh, we're going to use a lot of iron for making pistons as well because we're going to go for a very simple setup which is one of those ones that uses an observer and a piston to recognize when it grows to full height and from there it just knocks it down so as you can see got myself a decent bit of the quartz and we can probably use the stuff that we have here to make observers so how many do i want hmm 32 do we go for a 64 sugarcane setup? That is the question. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. So I need a few more pieces of stone. 10, 11. There we go. 64 observers. So it's going to be a decent sized farm or we're going to decide that that's too much and we just keep those for later. Now, what I want to do is check whether or not I have, hmm, 
Britain. We are slowly going through our supply of iron, but I want to see, well, actually it takes one per piston. So that's going to make the amount that we need. We definitely have to go down and grab those extra blocks that we had down in the mining area. Oh, also, as you can see, I added a couple of extra layers down that area just so that it was less straight when you looked at it from a distance because I feel like it was too much of just a colored line. And now when you look at it from afar, it looks way better. And I can remove these two because I have put some light underneath some moss. I've just been playing a little bit over the last day or two uh, while I relax over my Christmas, and I've just been enjoying my time in the world without having to actually worry about filming too much. So yes, I've, as some of you might have seen in a, uh, a community post that I put out, I've been trying to get myself a decent horse as well. So doing some random breeding, trying to get some to get together. I've got a pretty good one so far, but not quite enough. And that's where I was using most of my sugar cane, trying to use the sugar to make them grow up quicker. And it kind of inspired me to start filming again <laughs> on Boxing Day and see if I can get one going. So we're going to grab the extra iron. Beautiful. And then we can go up top to where our little building area is. And we might actually grab this sugar cane as well because we're going to need some to get the farm started. Okay. We're going to need more than that, but it'll be okay. So back up here, I'm going to put away that deep slate into this double chest. Like so. That way it's out of our inventory and not going to cause any problems. We didn't use anywhere near all of that nether quartz, but I'm going to store that away there as well. And I'm going to grab, I think I had a couple more pieces of oak planks over in here in the temporary storage I set up there that I can use for making myself those pistons. So, yep, perfect. We'll actually probably need to go over and grab the cobblestone that we were using over there as well. And this is kind of why I want to uh, pretty soon, probably coming into the new year, start working on a decent sized base just there because I have those little workstations of chests spread everywhere. There's a massive one down there that has like several double chests and it's starting to get out of hand how much I have to run around to all the different areas. So I'll grab those, grab a few extra of those, and I need more redstone. <laughs> ah, I have some. Perfect. So I need eight more. Didn't quite have enough of the, the oak, so we'll just make a few more of those. That's seven. One more. There we go. So that should be our main concerns with building this. We are going to add a hopper minecart underneath to pick up all the goods and use a couple of hoppers, but those can be made a little bit later. So let's head over there. As the sun sets again, that only took me a full day in Minecraft to get all of that sorted. Uh, we'll sleep and start chopping down some trees and flattening out the area. All right. So... Coming up here, we need to remove a couple of the trees so that we have a bit of a better idea what sort of space I have and how much I have to remove. So I'm just going to chop these. And that's going to help us replenish some of that wood that we just used as well. Super nice. Um, that's probably far enough away that I'm not going to bother with that one. But I need to work out exactly how it's going to split. It's probably going to be two rows of... 16, 16, 32, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we'll see how that sort of sits once we uh, have a bit of space. And I think it should fit in here quite nicely. So, oh, that's right. We have a massive cave just behind this farm here. I'll quickly show you guys that this goes, uh, yeah, pretty much down to the base layers of the world where I was mining. <laughs> And uh, exploring some caves, you can see my torches down there if you go over, but it's kind of hard to get a view straight down. Probably just grab this one here, this one here, and it should be enough. So, we're going to keep it at this height and probably try and continue the, uh, the structure here and make it feel like this was part of the building that is above. So, what I kind of want to do, and I'll probably do it with this, is uh, set up exactly how much space we need. So for starters, we're going to keep in line with this. And I'm just going to go back about that far. And we'll do the same on the other side. 
line it up with here. And I can't remember how far I went, but we'll cut across. Oh, I nailed that. <laughs> God, that's satisfying. I love being able to instant mine dirt. Just makes doing little builds like this so convenient. All right. So we have a centralized point here that we can build off of. So if we had a center and had that with our, say, uh, redstone on top of it, blah, 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 obviously a little bit higher. And that's going to be the track that, of the redstone that the observers run into. So if we, we can split this perfectly, honestly. If I come back to, yeah, about there. And we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We want to go a little bit further. There we go. 14, 15, 16. So that would have a setup on either side with a piston, well, a block, a piston, and then an observer on top, and much the same on here. Then we would want, basically, we can run our hopper minecarts underneath. We can put the water underneath as well. And that means that we can get a secondary setup right next to that. In fact, it doesn't even have to have a gap in between. It can go right there, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And the reality is I can fit the entire farm within the footprint that I've just made there. So that can be 64 pieces of sugar cane growing at once, which is decent. It's not bad, especially for just one player. And especially since at the moment, I'm not really planning on... Oh, hello, friend. I'm not really planning on going to get my Elytra just yet. So that'll build up quite significantly by the time we end up wanting to make rockets. So that's good. Now what I can do is pretty much start to build up a surround to this. I want to have a little bit of access around the outside for, say, maintenance... And then we're going to have to have an access panel down below too. But I think I want to make it a little bit pretty first. <laughs> so we're going to put some of that dirt that we grabbed there away and keep that out. And I'm going to use these spruce logs as a sort of setup. So for starters, I want to come up here. Can I see that from that side? I can. Uh, I want to come up here and bring a staircase up. There we go. So that's sort of the height that uh, the floor of our farm is going to be at. And then we might come across to... Yeah, we are going to move this actually. Come across to about the central point. So if I come on here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that is our central point. I want to bring this walkway about over to there. So in line with that, we'll go there. Good. <laughs> now that is going to have a bit of a pathway on the outside of the building. And I think I'm going to have a slight uh, veranda over top of it. So we can use this line here as the outside of our building and the same on this side. So it's sort of going to blend into the existing one here. And I like to imagine this is sort of like the gutter at the bottom. So any water coming down here would be in between the two buildings and it would flow outwards. In fact, that needs another little thing there. We can do that in a minute. <laughs> so if we come to there, that means that that's probably our center point. And we'll split it like that. We can even have a doorway coming out this backside as well. Now to make it nice and symmetrical, we're going to see that that is one block in between and then a post. So that's the one block and that's where the post would go. There. Nice. And we can continue that here and here. Cool. So I'll bring those up. One, two up to three. This is going to be a little bit more of a flatter, longer barn than uh, this one here is. This is just, oh, I wouldn't even know what to call it, but it is a more aesthetic building to house the sort of windmill from a distance rather than this being a more functional building that is going to have our farm inside of it. So there and there. And that's sort of going to back up onto that hill there quite nicely, actually. Cool. 
Now, ooh, <laughs> we've got to be careful of him. We don't want, ooh, excuse me. We don't want that to blow up our work so far. And that reminds me that I do need to go combine a couple of those uh, bows that I got down in the enchanting area at the skeleton farm. For now, though, I think I'm going to, ooh, I did this wrong. <laughs> Because the spot where the piston is going to be is actually just here. And then we need the two spaces and then the same on there. So it's going to be a little bit more packed in, to be perfectly honest. Hmm, interesting. If that's the case, how do I want to fit it in a little bit nicer? Hmm, let me sleep and I'll think on it. So I really like this size, the uh, the width of that, and the idea of this being fairly short, a little bit less peaky, more uh, like these outside ones made with the half slabs rather than the stairs. So I don't really want to make it any wider. As such, I think what I will do is instead of going this direction with a central point going out either way and then the matching on the opposite side, I think I might make this central point the center, if that makes sense, a blocking point between the two. Then this line will be where our sugar cane goes. This line will be where our hoppers go. And we can keep it at this height, but it just needs to extend another 16 into the hill over there. So that means it's going to be a long boy. But from the outside, it'll still only look like a smallish building. So let's go another 16 back here and see whether we pop out the other side of the hill or whether it's, uh, it's large enough to house this whole thing. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a cave. <laughs> uh, okay. In interesting, actually. Odd. But, okay. That does mean that there's still enough uh, room here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect. Now we can just extend this back and open it up into the side of the mountain. Or hill. Whatever you want to call it. Another one. <laughs> Interesting. The, uh, the new caves and stuff can definitely pop themselves into some odd spaces. So I'm going to probably just patch that one up, I think. Uh, for now, we're just going to fill the area that we've broken into. And out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> we're going to ignore it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Lovely. Now, the reality is I don't really need to go any higher than three at the back here because I can just cram the farm in. At the front here, we'll have some more room to be able to see above it if we so desire. But back here, it's purely function. So I'm just going to go the three high, save on having to store a bunch of different resources. And it also makes it a little bit easier for me, <laughs> the amount of work-wise. Nice. Now I'm just going to expand that one more so we have a bit of space behind it. And now... I think I want to uh, replace the cobblestone with some nicer material. So what we're going to do is turn these into stone bricks. And then we're going to place those down the side. Even though it's not something that's necessarily going to be viewed very often, it's still nice. <laughs> it's nice to use nice materials. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. <laughs> Nailed it. And we will do the same on the other side. So, one, two, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Gib. That's going to be the outside section. From there, on the inside, we're going to go normal stone that's going to give us a place to put our piston like so and then i'm going to put probably a glass block in the middle so that it hits the glass block and falls down and we'll have a track going underneath this line and a track going underneath that line so let me stack those up on either side like so and then we can get on top and start to put in our observers dig underneath and make sure we have water going and all of that fun stuff uh, that took a surprisingly short amount of time. <laughs> okay. Now, what I'm going to do is chop through the middle, and I think I might put my water source through the middle here, 
That way it is hydrating these two sides, which I'm gonna have to put some dirt in here, one second. And then we sort of get the entire 64 for one line of, uh, of water. So we can put some dirt back across there. Remove these few bits of granite. And then this is where I'm going to be showing my, I don't want to say OCD because it's not OCD, but there's definitely a level of cleanliness or uh, I suppose order that I like to have. And I kind of want that all to be smooth stone. Like so. Perfect. Okay, so now what I can do is to come over to this conveniently placed water and I'm just going to start a water source at this end and then we can fill that all in. I kind of wanted to bring you guys through the whole process of this to show you that farms like this don't necessarily have to be scary or difficult. Once you get the hang of it and you understand the premise behind it, or you've done it a few times in some different worlds, it's really something that sticks with you for a long time. It's not necessarily a scary project, it's something that is really nice to set up fairly early in a new world if you want to say go get Elytra quickly and uh, and need <laughs> those, those sweet sweet rockets. Yep, I don't want the rotten flesh though. Eh. Right. So now that we have this area set up, before I put the extra block on top of this, I like to stand down at this height here because it makes it a lot easier for putting the observers on. They need to be placed while facing towards the direction the piston's going, like so, so that their little grumpy face, their little unimpressed face uh, sticks out in that direction. So I can walk across here, place down 32 on this side, as you can see, it fits perfectly within our three high area. I'm going to do the same right here. Lovely. Now, this is... Oh, do I have them? Hold on. <laughs> yes, but I don't have enough. We might go over to our villages and we might grab some glass from the uh, librarians because they're a super easy way to get glass since I haven't found myself a desert in this world yet. And I can also trade up for some glowstone. So I know that I left down here my emeralds. Yep, beautiful. Oh, some glass already actually as well. We're going to put some of this stuff away because we're already filling up. Eh. And this is all just slowly building up into something that I really need to work on organizing. Okay, we got that. We'll head on over and grab some goodies from our villagers. And it also gives us a good opportunity once we get over onto this walkway to see what I was talking about there. See how I just added it a little bit down and uh, it makes it feel a bit more organic, a bit more natural. And it actually shows off the curve of the hill a lot nicer in my opinion. I think it really just needed those few extra layers. It wasn't that much in all honesty. It was just a little bit extra and it creates a huge difference as to how that looks. I, I think that's lovely. I really like it. <laughs> all right. So over here, I actually did in between episodes, get myself some of these guys to get all of those diamond tools. This one came out with an amazing chess piece as the master trade. So an Unbreaking 3 projectile protection 4 is incredible. Then fairly standard protection 2, protection 2, protection 2. So kind of all right with those. With these, pretty standard efficiency 2. Nothing crazy about these. I'd be more likely to just disenchant them and use the tool and enchant them myself. And then here... Eh, much the same. Nothing crazy. But at least now that we have these for like one or two emeralds each, I can trade some iron quite cheaply, even though I don't want to waste what I have. And uh, yeah, they're really, really convenient ones to have going. I'm going to trade ooh, with you for a little bit more of the glass. Now, we know that our thing is 32 long. We probably want three high. That means we're going to need a little bit more. So hopefully that person refreshes their trades while we do this and also try and get to 32 of those. Beautiful. See whether it works. Not quite. Uh, eh, uh, it's always going to be bad. 55 is a nice number. Okay. <laughs> and beautiful. 32. 
Lovely. Actually, what did you just... Oh yeah, unlocked the uh, master variety. Very good. And then, since I've got some emeralds here, I'm going to grab a little bit more food. Because now we have access to the golden carrots, we don't really ever want to eat anything else. So, that's enough glass, that's enough of the glowstone. We're going to close those guys in. And be back up over there. Oh, I think that's going to look great when there's a second building right there as well. So nice. And while we've been working away up there, it looks like this has grown somewhat as well. If I can get myself a stack of 64, <laughs> then we're going to have the perfect amount to get our farm up and running first try. So I'll go through here. I don't know if it's quite going to be enough, but we might luck out. A few of those were triple high, so easy peasy. Nice. So, now we have all of the items that we need, and I can grab this glass and actually go over the top of here. Whoops. <laughs> and I wanted the 32 pieces of glowstone because I want to have a light source just above them. Oh, that goes straight out into nothingness. We're actually going to fill that in and probably go fill that up a little bit later. But if I do this, that means that uh, the light level should be high enough throughout the whole area to stop things from spawning in here uh, on, the, on the spots because stuff can still spawn on a, a place where sugarcane is, as far as I remember. And uh, so I would just like personally to have a bit of light going. Keeps that area spawn proof and also looks nice. Bim, 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 and nice. This whole thing is coming together pretty quickly. Now, we've got the observers up there. The next thing to do is to come across with the second layer of our outside brick. And that's going to give us a good spot to put our redstone. There we go. And because <laughs> we uh, decided to go for 64, it's really making this quite a simple process. Because everything is just a certain amount of 64. A stack's worth in most cases, or you can times it by the amount of uh, layers you want to add. So a stack of redstone, excuse the jumping up and down, should be enough to do all of this in one go. Nice. That, functionality-wise, is the farm. <laughs> the observers will recognize when it grows up to its full potential, spark the pistons for a 15 block line away from them. So it is gonna go in sections, but that's okay. And then that means that this is just going to continue to pump out a decent amount of sugarcane over the entire series. <laughs> this is probably going to last us forever. I don't think we'll ever need more than what this can provide. Now, um, just to tidy things up a little smidge, we're going to block the ends off like so. Open up a bit of access behind that. And that way we know that... We're not going to have stuff spilling out the end. Beautiful. I might just put a torch back here just to be safe. And it's night time again. <laughs> okay. So, with that done, all that is left to do is get access to underneath... Oh. <laughs> uh, eh. Underneath both of those lines that have the sugar cane on top of them. So if we go like so, we open that up a little bit so we have some space. What I can do is come down here and just go the entire direction, the entire direction, the entire length of this back in that direction. Now I might actually go up to the other end and dig down so that we have a reference point of where we've hit. So if we hit that and if we hit that, we know we've gone far enough. Okay, let's go. There we go. Beautiful. Pop across there and we can just make our way back in exactly the same way. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now I think we're going to have the track running down there and down here in a loop. I think I want to leave the central point here untouched, obviously because it's got the water on top of it. And so, oh God, I need to like that. And nobody's ever going to see this bottle. But you guys are, because I'm filming it. <laughs> there we go. All solid stone. Uh, 
all solid stone. But I think if that's the case and we ever want to come down here and do some maintenance, it'd be worthwhile to open up an extra block on the side that we can use as an access panel, like an access walkway. It's also gonna make turning, uh, not turning, placing all of the, the railing and stuff a hell of a lot easier. So definitely worth our while to dig out just a little bit more. Nice. Oh, uh, okay, that's lucky. <laughs> Didn't uh, start flowing backwards. Now I know my inventory is full. Need to get rid of a few extra pieces of this dirt, I think. There we go. And now we need to make ourselves up a few rails. Now it, we know that <laughs> it is uh, 32 down one direction, but that's gonna go two directions, so that's 64. Then I want a couple extra to play with, but I am removing some to put in the, uh, the powered rails. Mm. Will 64 do? We'll see. <laughs> Let's make exactly 64 rails, like so. And then we need a little bit of gold. Yeah. Do I have gold? I've got it somewhere. Hmm. I swear I have gold somewhere. I should be using my horsey, but he's over there breeding. Okay. Pretty sure that it's down here at my mine entrance. Ow. And yes, perfect. Uh, we don't really need that much. In fact... We'll probably get just two for a 12 total. That's probably enough, honestly. Hmm. We'll go one more just in case, just to be safe. And we'll put that gold back there. Perfect. So now it becomes pretty simple. All I have to do is jump down here, get a, uh, a few pieces of stone. Even though I know I just dug all of this out, it was so that I could get the uh, the right placement and stuff down here. I'm just going to light this up temporarily and then place this back so that I have the access. So we're going to go a little bit further back over here. Actually, no, we can cut. <laughs> uh, yeah, there will do. So we'll go across like this. And now I want to set up my... Uh, I think my access chest to be right there. Ooh, that could actually work really well. So rather than a chest, because that looks a little bit funky in that area, why don't we make ourselves um, a barrel like so. And if we put a barrel here, that can be our spot that we come to for our sugar cane. So we'll uh, maybe put a little stair just there or something, but I'll do it out of the, the dark oak. And then from behind there, so that is, okay, this one, this one, this one. Bim, 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 bim. There we go. We have access to the behind of that perfectly. And I can make a hopper. <laughs> I'm sort of running you guys through this entire process, but I think it's fun. Um, we'll go like this. We'll turn that into chests because we're going to need a bunch of hoppers. And then I can make a handful. So we run a hopper into the back of that, like so. And then I can place a double chest on top of that so that we still get... Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. No, we can make it work. We can make it work. <laughs> I, was, I just realized that that is at the exact height that the rail comes through. So we're going to have to make the rail go upwards to drop stuff into this uh, this double chest here. Oops. Like so. All right. So if that's the case, that double chest is not going to be accessible. It's only going to be accessible through the, uh, the overflow that goes into that barrel. Then what I want to do is put myself a hopper into there and probably like so. And that may be just enough room. Ooh, it should be just enough room. We'll have to see. Place some rails on there. The biggest question will be if the cart can get past that point. So we might have to do a quick test. We'll come two back from the diagonal and we'll put down a redstone block to sleep for the night and test it <laughs> because I may have jumped the gun a little bit with the collection system. Okay, 
We just need a... Well, actually, we'll turn it into a Hopper Minecart just to be safe in case they have different hitbox sizes. And I'm going to have to... <laughs> push. Push. Let's try that again. I need a trap door. Okay. <laughs> and push. It does. Okay, cool. Goes up around there. Bar to get stuck there. Hmm. Interesting. So it'll go up a uh, a rail that is that close, but it won't go back down. Okay. If that's the case, we're going to go far more simple. <laughs> we're not going to worry about large amounts of storage just yet. We are literally just going to go as simple as possible and keep everything going into our singular barrel. Now, I know it's not much storage for now, but down the line, if I need more, I'll either have shulker boxes and I can just come back and fill shulker boxes as I go, or I just let it overflow and don't worry about it. <laughs> Until it causes problems for me, I uh, I think this will do the trick. It's not going to be that productive that it causes issues as far as I can tell. So yeah, that's good. Problem not solved, but uh, temporarily averted. <laughs> okay, let me set up these. We'll get ourselves a little bit of the good old powered rails. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a torch for good measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll see how that works towards the end. I want to have it boost around the back corner, I think. So like that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Nice. It's lovely when things just work. Okay. And like so. And yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're kidding me. <laughs> Wait. Please tell me that one fell into that barrel. Please. It did not. 64 was one short. Interesting. Uh, we, we could just, we could just speed this up slightly <laughs> when it goes back. See, perfectly calculated. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I will make sure that we have got this lit up like so. Ooh, all of them fired. Okay. Oh dear. It's happened again. This all needs to be stone. Ah, much better. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Ooh, it's thundering outside. Interesting. Luckily, we are protected under here, but I'll go sl sleep that away in just a moment. Just need to uh, fix up a couple of things. Okay. Much better. We can put those torches back now. And I am somewhat satisfied. <laughs> okay. All in all, that should be the lot. All I need to do is make a hopper minecart again. So I think I used the last of my hoppers. Which means I just need to do this, then we do this, and I think we have a functional farm. Off you go, do the thing. We should see some stuff coming into the barrel, but I'll just let that go past. It's obviously going to take a couple of goes because it's going so fast around there, but there we go. Let's see whether on its next pass it drops in a couple more. It does. So five at a time. That means that it's going so fast, it's only enough for that to pick up one, two, three, four, five, obviously. <laughs> but we should see. Okay, so it had only made 10. Perfect. That's th done. Uh, I probably want to make that glass so that I can see through it. Like so. That's done. <laughs> we have a fully functioning sugarcane farm. Nice. <laughs> now... With all of that uh, work done and taking you guys through the whole process, I hope it wasn't too boring. I'll try and edit it up as cleanly and precisely as I can so that it's nice and snappy. Uh, we're going to jump into a time lapse of me building the actual structure around this. I think now that we've got the complicated parts done, oh, there we go. That's just dropped a heap. We should see all of that getting picked up. Come on. Beautiful. You love to see it. But yes, as the complicated part is done, we're going to jump into a time lapse, build up a nice little barn around that, 
get it tied into this area nicely and we'll pop back in and have a look at it once I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> okay. And so that just spawned. <laughs> and so as seems to be the, uh, the tradition or the, uh, the theme for this episode, as the sun sets, we now have ourselves a little addition to this farming area. I kind of like this. I feel like maybe I should adjust the, uh, the side a little bit more so that it's more obvious that it is a bit of a lean-to. But we do have this now coming up into here. A little bit of flooring and a little bit of a tidied up, ooh, I'll take that, tidied up area around here to uh, to get into all of these spots. So what I might do here is actually something like this so that we can get up and in there if we so desire and much the same down here. But I did think of something that I might try and change just now uh, after I've slept, I would say. If we head over here to our little, uh, our little storage area, okay, well, in that time that it took me to do that, which was probably about half an hour, uh, we've got ourselves just over two stacks, that's not too bad, but I think what I might like to do is destroy that, realize I have no room in my inventory anymore, <laughs> uh, oh, not much room in there either, okay, uh, do 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 something like that, put those away. And I think what I can get away with is actually putting that barrel just down here. And then what I can do is grab these, put them into there like that, or at least that one there. And I can now put this, oh, let me up, thank you. <laughs> I can now put that just in here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. Hold on. Put that on top. We might swap these over for the dark oak because I feel like it works with the color scheme a little bit better. I just didn't have them on me when I originally did it. And now, once I fix up that little chest, we have this barrel being our way to store all of this and it'll all work how I originally planned. <laughs> so let's fix that up by going like this. Perfect. Now that's going to collect the items coming out of those hoppers into that chest. Might put that there like that and even a trap door over top of this so that it's nice and neat. We don't have to worry about it. And uh, there we go. Perfect. I am pretty happy with that. It's still a little bit unfinished up inside of here, but in general, it should work just fine. That's going to crank away the uh, the items over the entire course of this Let's Play of this series, and I should always have more than enough sugar cane for my needs. Put that away. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> so, I know this episode's gone a little bit long. I kind of... Uh, took you guys through the entire process of making that in, in almost one take. Uh, a lot of it was filmed in one go. So I apologize for how long this episode is. Hope you guys enjoyed regardless. And I hope you guys like how this turned out. I, I kind of like that we've got a couple of buildings here now. We might even continue with a few more along this side too. We'll see. But for now... I think that's plenty for an episode, and I don't want to keep you guys any longer, so I'd like to thank my Patreons, especially my Level 3 Patreons, Ness, Carl, and Master Shifu, thank you guys, and all my other Patreons as well, thank you. Thank you all for the support over this holiday season and for the start of this Let's Play. It's kind of incredible, and I hope that I can continue to build this world and make some amazing things for you guys to watch. So, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you guys take care of yourselves until the next episode. And I'll see you then. <laughs> Take care, everyone. All right. Oh, I gotta get up on something high. Whoop.